Okay, I've been asked about testing capacitors while they're under load using the amps times 2650 divided by the voltage uh, method to determine if the capacitor is actually up to par. So I'm going to test this. Now I've got a 7.5 cap on this. You can you can see that right there. This is a 240 volt motor, so it's going to be a little higher voltage than, uh, say, a gas furnace, but it works about the same. I've done this on uh, four different motors. Okay, I've got the capacitor tester here. Okay, it says 7.28 is what that's reading. Okay, I'm going to hook it up, we'll fire it up, and we'll try the 2650 thing. Okay, now here we're set up. I've got a voltmeter here. I'm going to be checking the voltage right across these two terminals while it's running. So let's fire it up. Okay, now if you look at that, I'm running, we'll call that 249. Okay, here we have a clamp meter, and where I'm going to clamp this, I can clamp either wire. I'll actually do both of them, because it doesn't seem to make any difference. I'm clamping the wire that comes off the capacitor. Now I'm reading 0.6, yeah, we'll call it 0.63. I'll try the other one. I'll call this averaged out at 0.63. Six four. Now that's all the measurements I need for this thing. Okay, here's the numbers on the first one. You notice it's showing a little bit lower than the rated. Now here I've got another cap uh, that I pulled out, and I'm going to check its capacitance. This is also a seven point five. If you can see it over there on the left. Okay, and let's look at what it reads. Okay, it's reading 7.25. Okay, now we're going to start the motor and we're going to check the voltage across the cap. Remember, I'm using a 240 volt motor here. Checking the voltage across. Let's look at what it says. Let's call that 251. Okay, 0.63. Try the other one. Again, we're going to be 0.63. And here's the numbers on the second one. Again, it's showing a little bit lower than the rated. Okay, in this case, same motor, 240 volt and everything. I'm going to use one of the AMRAD caps. And again, it's 7.5 microfarads. Okay, we're going to test it with a cap tester. And you can see we're running 7.75. Okay, here we're going to start this up again. Again, we're going to check amp draw. 0.67. Call it 0.68. Okay, now we're going to test the voltage across it. We're going to call that 255. Okay, we'll do the numbers in each of these caps and see what happens. Okay, this is the last one. It's showing a little bit higher, but the tester showed it higher too, so whatever. Okay, for conclusions. Now, I just showed one fan. I actually did about four fans. And I got some varying, some it read a little bit higher when I did the calculations. Uh, and some read a little lower. Now this one here read consistently low on all three types of caps I put on there. One of which was a really good quality one and uh, showed 7.75 on the meter. So is this thing useful? In general I would not use it as a service tool. 
If I had a problem with a fan motor, or it was perhaps overdrawing or something like that, I might try that just for diagnosis. A simpler diagnosis would simply be to replace the cap and see if that fixed it. So the value of it is pretty limited. Uh, I think it's going to vary with the brand of the fan motor, with you know the size of the fan motor, with the load in the fan motor. And I did try these under a bunch of different loads. And I got, like I said, kind of varying uh, returns from it. So um, use it if you want to. It's fairly accurate, but from what I can see most of the time, it reads a cap lower than it's rated for. And that's probably not accurate. Anyway, that's my look at it.